face. I wish you had put some makeup on They're it before be like, I vlogged. They're gonna be like, Lauren, why are you videoing your grandmother? This <laughs> is Jen, looking old today. <laughs> and here I'm like, <laughs> driving like a dork. I normally sit back a little farther. Uh, just constant comedy. This is Jen Ryan, everyone. Jen, can you introduce yourself really quick yeah. while you're driving? <laughs> driving, um, no, with my hands on the steering Don't worry, you can, pay, you can look forward. Uh, I'm Jen light. Ryan. Use the right two I lanes to merge am onto I-5 North Lauren's uh, training partner, and um, I also help out with uh, the Grown Strong Nutrition side of things. Um, what else? I pretty much have to deal with Lauren Turn right. a lot. Um, <laughs> lucky for her, and for me. <laughs> We're both very lucky. Um, yeah, so, yes. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> that is not me at all. That is not you, not Jen. Me at all in a nutshell. You just oh explain your relationship to me. <laughs> That's my relationship with Lauren in a nutshell. Stay in the left um, um, I, I don't know what do you want me to say about myself. Uh, I think that was good enough, Jen. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll get back to it. All right, everyone. Jen, Ryan, my good friend, training partner, we are on a road trip to Camarillo, California. Can you guys guess where we are going? Well, I guess let me get started. Well, probably what? not because it's not exactly a known place. <laughs> yeah, I guess why are we going to Camarillo, California? <laughs> okay, I really hope that, so I don't have a selfie thing on this camera, so I don't know if you guys can see me very well. Okay. Sorry, now I just kind of ruined that intro. But anyways, <laughs> to Lauren and her intro. Jen, so good. yeah, Jen and I are a constant, just always laughing, having a good time together. And today we are going to Camarillo, California, to stay overnight at some random hotel because tomorrow, some random hotel, the Fairfield Inn. Tomorrow we and eight point three stars, I think. Eight point three stars. Jen got it. Pretty easy. Uh, but anyways, let me get back to this intro. So. Tomorrow we are going to be testing our VO2 Max with Richard Diaz, our RMR. Jen, you want to explain RMR? Sorry. Yeah, so first thing in the morning we're going to get our RMR done, so our resting metabolic rate, which is basically the amount of calories you would burn just like sitting and being awake um, without doing anything. So it's what your body needs for energy. So um, we're going to get that done. That has to be done fasted. So we got to get there early in the morning. He wants us to be there at about seven. And then um, fasting, no coffee. So that's why we were like, well, that's why I for sure was like, we need to go up the night before because it's a two and a half uh, hour drive. So I'm not, I didn't want to like get Lauren in an accident uh, on the way up there, not having any coffee and driving at 5 a.m. So uh, we decided to stay the night before. So yeah, so we're going to get that RMR tested. I think that's really, really cool because a lot of people just kind of use um, all, you know, calculations, uh, like formulas, which is great. It's a great baseline, but you don't know for sure because those don't take into account um, so many other factors, like what you've done in the past for nutrition, um, maybe how much lean muscle mass you have if you're not using something super specific. Um, so all of these things, you know, uh, hormones, um, all that stuff. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited to get that tested because then once we have that key information about ourselves, then we'll be able to, you know, actually then get on, do the VO2 max. Um, Richard has uh, the ability to, his um, information that he can get actually shows us how many calories we're burning an hour and are we using glycogen are we using fats uh, for energy at what heart rate do we switch over and use those different fuel sources for energy so especially as athletes it's really really important as, because we are in a glycolytic sport but i think it's also really important for uh just anyone in the general population to also understand that because we see so many people who are trying to diet constantly and under eating all the time and it's suddenly like oh my gosh well if you're resting metabolic rate or the amount that you would normally burn in a day is like 14 or 1500 calories but you're always trying to diet like 80 percent of the time and eat like 1300 calories a day then 
you are essentially kind of just, you know, uh, letting your metabolism adapt and you're starting to bring your, um, your RMR slash BMR, same thing, down. And then, you know, you're not able to eat as many calories and stay consistent with the body weight. So anyhow, I think it's really, really important and it's going to be super cool for Lauren and I to get to put that together. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So we have to do that fasted. So we'll do that. And then, uh, Rich said he's either going to make us some breakfast or we can kind of bring some of our own stuff. And of course, being the weirdo that I am, I brought my normal breakfast stuff uh, that I always bring because I'm weird. Except for I forgot my blueberries in the freezer. Oh, oh my God. I have raspberries. It'll be okay. But anyhow, we can go to the store. Life, life of Jen Ryan, yeah. everyone. Get to know her because she is a constant comedy, laughter, everything, all of it. But anyways, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that and then also test our running gait, which Jen forgot to mention. Oh, yeah. Um, which I think is super beneficial for us again as athletes. I know for myself, I had an ankle injury back in 2016. I had ankle surgery. So just to see if there's any imbalances in our running form um, and how we can maximize our running potential. I think, again, just every little edge we can get truly helps. And right now it's September and our season um, kind of got delayed and postponed. So now's the perfect time to test these things. Yeah, Rich works with... Um if you don't know who Richard Diaz is, so he works with a lot of the uh, top like OCR runners um, at like the Spartan Racers. Uh, he's worked with uh, like Hunter McIntyre and a lot of them. So um, yeah, so running is his jam. 8.01 p.m. of the hotel room. This nice blue bathroom, cozy hotel room, whole foods dinner. Both got the same thing, but barbecue grilled chicken. Barbecue chicken, <laughs> kale, salad, and quinoa. So you got your carbs, veggies, and your protein. And I'm sure there's a little bit of fat in the salad dressing and the chicken breast and maybe in the quinoa salad. Anyways, ending the night here. Tomorrow we are getting up early. The next day. Rich, can you introduce yourself to my following? Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, my name is Richard Diaz, and uh, we are in what is infinitely re re renowned as the uh, secret lab. Um, I didn't name it, so don't give me shit for it. <laughs> but um, a lot of cool stuff happens here, so I refer to it as like uh, my Swiss Army knife. This little space, there's so many magical things you can do here, and we're going to do them this morning. You know, they want to get to the holy grail of whatever sport they're involved in, right? Mm -hmm. But they look good. Yeah. So they assume, oh, it's all good. I don't have to worry about that. Get used to who you are. You get used to the skin you're living in, right? So they could very well have been catabolic. And they don't want to eat any carbs because carbs are, they make you fat, right? <laughs> Yeah. Right? yeah. Carbs make you fat, so they don't eat any carbs. That's energy. Then you go out and blow energy up. But you get used to it. So you get, you know, that becomes your new normal. Yeah. This test ferrets it out. This shows you whether you're in this gluconeogenesis, whether your body is just munching on protein because it's not getting the carbs it needs. I'm just gonna plug you in and see what this says. Yeah. And so we sit there and they're like their their jaws drop when I show them that. 100% of the energy that's that's being drawn upon is coming from carbohydrate. And you don't have any in your system. So what does that mean? Your body's using muscle. It's converting it to sugar. And lots of carbon dioxide because there's a lot of waste going off. Yeah. And your body's just toxic. Yeah. But that's normal. Mm -hmm. That's how I live. That's what I do, right? Yeah. So I started showing this to people. Now you realize I've been doing these clinics, just the clinics, for the past 10 years. Okay? All over the country, all fashions of athletes, I don't know them. Mm -hmm. I get 20 people show up, put them on the car, test them. And then I start showing these people, look, you're about, on average, 1,000 calories in debt a day. Mm -hmm. Right? A good example, Hunter McIntyre. Oh. So when I tested Hunter, and I coached Hunter for years, I finally got him to sit down for this because, you know, he, oh, he, I look good, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. 
Macho Man, I showed him he was about 1,500 calories a day in debt. We bumped his calories up about 1,000 a day. He lost a pound and got leaner. Yeah. And his performance went through the roof. People are just afraid to do that. Well, they, they don't want to. They don't want to get fat. Right. They're afraid. They're so busy worrying about whether they're going to get fat or not. Yeah. I think that there's a happy place where, from an appearance perspective, when people look at you, it may not be as appealing as they'd like it to be. Yeah. Right. But you're in a better place. Your body's functioning better. Um, there's just a lot more going on. Jenna's going. You look so attractive in that mask, Jen. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. I feel that way. Jen, on a scale of 1 to 10, how comfortable are you in that mask? Ten. You're a 10. So comfortable. Yes, you know, that looks pretty good. You can see the line's pretty steady state, and it's just hovering below 1. Jen. Can you tell us how your testing results went, and what do you think about all of this? Uh, so my results showed that at um, my age, height, weight, all this stuff, taking that into account, my resting metabolic rate, that's me just like not doing anything, I burn 1,498 calories. 1,500 calories. So for those of you using a calculator, to get your, your resting metabolic rate, it's wrong, right? Anyways, so 1,500 calories, um, and that's Can you just explain, doing nothing. Well, yeah, just doing nothing. So just doing nothing, that's what my body's utilizing. Um, and then if we add on top of that, um, the exercise that I'm doing throughout the day, daily activities like walking around, fidgeting, typing, grocery shopping. Um, Don't forget fidgeting. That's, yeah, fidgeting. Yeah, I'm such a fidgeter. Um, that's why I'm so lean, because I fidget. <laughs> Maybe we should have the fidget diet. <laughs> um, so that just gets added on top of that. So that's like almost another probably 1,000 to 1,500 calories a day that I'm burning on top of the 1,500. So, From just being. Yeah. So that and would, sleeping. Yeah, so that would be like my total daily energy expenditure. Um calculated out. So I would need to be eating up around like 3,000 calories a day just to support everything that I'm doing. And what's your body weight, Jen? Uh, my body weight is usually between like 129 and 130, 131. So what did you, what was the one piece of advice you would give to anyone who's watching this vlog today? Um, come see Richard. <laughs> yeah, come see Richard. And then, um, you know, if you're going to train like an athlete, don't eat like an asshole. Bam! Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are following all of these, like, competition programs or they're doing, like, uh, an hour of somebody's program and then they're like, I want to go run for 30 minutes. And it's like, that's what an athlete does. They train more than once a day for a long time. And if you're doing that, then you need to eat like one, not like an asshole. Jen and I... Just got done with our RMR testing, okay. and now we are going to be looking at our running gait analysis. All right, let's, since we got you first, let's just yeah. take a look, okay? Now, this is at a quarter speed. Okay. So this is your point of contact right here. So you're on your heel, and because, um, let me just do this real quick. There's basically your center of mass. Mm -hmm ahead of your center of mass, leg is extended, so basically, uh, I'm going to fast forward here, because you've been so patient with me, so here's the hip, there's the knee, foot should be here, by the time your foot makes ground contact, your body should be posted right over top of that foot, that's the short story, okay, um, but there's other things. Ah. Yeah, 
she's got that. But probably not right now because my hamstrings are really sore from two days ago. I know. From my, Friday. And it's I Sunday. feel it too still. We're at a fast walk. <laughs> I like that she was like, oh yeah, I'm eating exactly that every day. Nice, Lauren. Jen and I just finished our trip to visit Richard Diaz and test our RMR VO2 max testing and also our running gait analysis. I would say that we got so much useful inf information that my brain is probably going to explode from all the information that we got, but in a good way. Um, Jen, what do you think? Yeah, that was a lot of awesome info. I'm really excited about the um, the running, like our uh, gait assessment, so I'm kind of amped on that to put that to good use. I know a lot of you probably are going to ask me in the comments below what exactly my VO2 max uh, or my test was and I don't know if I want to share it with you guys <laughs> because I feel like so many athletes are like hiding their tests like this so I don't know Jen should I share it with people? I don't know I don't know why are people hiding it it's not you can't like be better than I mean you could be better than someone else but it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't matter so anyways I tested my VO2 max. Jen is going the wrong way currently. Okay, Jen got the right route. But anyways, my resting metabolic rate was, I was just standing, being, just sleeping, just literally being, I'm burning about 1,600 calories, which is absolutely crazy because on top of that, if I'm training around two to four hours a day from CrossFit alone, that's another like 1,500 to 2,000 calories. Um, so just having useful information like that. Jen is currently getting lost, so. Wait, that was the right way. I knew I was going the right way. I'm a genius. Hold on, friends. Uh, oh, I swear we came the other way, but maybe we have to go out the other direction. I'll wait until Jen finds the right way. Are we going the right way, Jen? This actually happened to me the last time I came here, too. I remember I was going Turn around in circles a few times. Yeah, those via Pacheco. Okay, last thing that you guys probably all want to know, VO2 max test, I scored a 60, which um, he said was really good. My tube actually came out right at the very end, probably because I was running so hard or so crazy, and that kind of threw me off a little bit, so I feel like maybe I could have gone a little bit more, but I'm super happy with that. It's a good baseline now for my fitness. It's September, and my season doesn't start until February, so I mean, I'm super happy with the, that knowledge. Uh, Jen, do you want to share with everyone yours? Yes. Uh, mine was just over 57. What was it, 57.6 or something? Yeah. Which was an improvement from in January when I had it done. It was 56, I think. So that's kind of nice, a small improvement. But the coolest thing that we found was that my threshold for handling lactate um, and hanging at a higher heart rate was like almost 20 points higher, like 20 beats higher. So that's like really huge in the world of CrossFit. So uh, I'm really happy with that. That was cool. Just like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That is the end of the blog, vlog, everyone. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe down below. It means the world to me. Make sure you guys comment what you want to see more of, whether that's training, eating, Use the right pretty much the anything and everything. Right Thanks, guys. Using the restroom. Using <laughs> the restroom. Whatever you guys like. Whatever you're in.